This is Larry from Bum Puzzle Giant. I would like to invite you into my kitchen today. I'm going to be preparing a meal from Home Chef. Today I'm preparing Tex Mex steak sandwich. Tex Mex steak sandwich. And they come with the end product, what it should look like, and all the ingredients and how to prepare them. I'm not usually the one that cooks, so this might be interesting. When you get your package, every Tuesday it comes just like this. And you also get your meat. Looks very good. Just like that. Let's get chopping. Okay, we're all chopped up and ready to go. Next, we'll take our french fries, lay them in a tin foil pan. And what the heck. Up one up. Now the recipe states two, uh, two teaspoons of oil, so we're just gonna give it a little drizzle. That should be good enough, by the way. Love this thing. And they specify how much salt and pepper, but we're just gonna, you know, go with them here. I like a lot of pepper on my fries. We'll get them all tossed up into this. Get them mixed up there. Any of you people out there that know how to cook probably are laughing right now. Gonna put them in the oven. 400 degrees, already preheated. And set for 20 minutes. Now we have our meat set out there. The instructions say to pat it dry with the paper towel. So just get any excess off of that. One thing I love about this meat, they are sent it already cut into strips. So that's one last step that we have to do. And we're adding the seasoning. So after you pat dry, you add the seasoning on. I'll give you quite a bit there. Yeah, that's excellent. Be messy with it. And then you gotta knead it, get it all over that meat. All right, and now we need to caramelize the onions. Let's turn on the heat. Whoops, I turned on the wrong one. We can throw our onions in there. Add some olive oil. All right, maybe a little bit much. First third, and then up. Oh, almost forgot salt and pepper. Take my little bird. This needs to cook about 15 to 20 minutes to caramelize the onions. So once we get it all mixed up in there, we'll just let it simmer. We'll see you then. While the onions caramelize, we need to toast the buns. So you just throw them on the rack for three to five minutes. While the rolls toast, we mix some onion, tomato, and just half of the cilantro in a bowl. Let's get them all mixed up. We are making pico de gallo. And I am going to go over and check on the roll. Finally toasted. If I don't drop them on. The 
little bit too much on that one. Well, the meat looks done. Looking good. Now we need to remove from the heat, turn off the burner, add some cheese, and make up our sandwiches. All right, and we're done. I think it turned out pretty good overall. Uh, the potatoes didn't get as crunchy as I wanted them to, but I think it was because I didn't get uh, give the potato enough time to warm up. I had them in the fridge. Shouldn't have had it in the fridge, threw it right in there. But overall, I think it looks pretty much like the picture. As you can see, uh, mine with the uh, ketchup. Ketchup is my thing. I like most condiments, but ketchup is my favorite. Well, let's see how it tastes. Wow. Overall, I say I did a pretty good job for a first time out. Two thumbs up. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Home Chef. When you sign up for Home Chef, you can tell them how many portions you'll be needing each week. You can tell them uh, exactly what uh, items from their menu that you want each week. If there's something in it, like I personally don't like Brussels sprouts, don't like them at all. So if there's anything that has Brussels sprouts in it, we just opt out of that one. The only thing I wish they would do is that you kind of get locked into the portions you want. I wish that like if you had company over, you could add uh, like extra portions to one certain meal. They say that's coming soon. Also, I would like to mention, if uh, this interested in you out there, make sure to get on our description and go to the link. You can save $30 off of your first purchase. Uh, my wife wanted me to mention this because we love this so much that when you buy, we save as well.